Welcome to Sectigo Certificate Manager SCM, How to Video Series. This video will show how SCM administrators can request an SSL certificate from within the user interface of SCM using Azure Key Vault. Rules for issuing SSL certificates. All SCM administrators can issue an approved certificate for the organization or department's validated domains which they have been assigned to. Azure Key Vault. Before enrolling SSL certificates with Azure Key Vault, you must have Azure Key Vault enabled for your account and an SCM Azure account configured. If you order an OV certificate, the certificate will be issued automatically within minutes. If you order an EV certificate, it will be issued automatically only if you have an EV Anchor certificate. If you don't have an EV Anchor, you must contact the Sectigo validation team using the contact number you received during your onboarding process. We will now detail the issuance of an SSL certificate using Azure Key Vault. Firstly, navigate to the SSL certificate button on the left-hand side of SCM. You will see other certificates that you may have issued. Now, click the Add button, which is the green plus sign at the upper right corner of the screen. Once selected, SCM will prompt you for the enrollment method. Select Generation of CSR in Azure Key Vault and click Next to open the Details page. You will then define the required parameters. Complete the details fields based on the information requested. The requester is still the administrator that is completing this form. The email address of the external requester is displayed as the external requester in the certificate details of an issued certificate. Click Next to open the private key page. Specify the Azure Key Vault parameters and key type information. Click Next. This will open the domains page. With SCM, you can add additional or alternate names if needed. When doing a bulk import, make sure you have properly spaced each value or use commas to separate the multiple values. In this scenario, when you are using a profile for the wildcard or multi-domain certificate, you will need to type in different domains, add them manually and click the plus sign for the items that you wish to have the same certificate applied to. Once that is done, it is time to proceed to the last option which is deciding on the certificate auto-renew parameters. This allows the renewal of the certificate to take place automatically during a certain period prior to the expiration. Enabling this allows you to define how many days prior to expiration you wish to auto-renew. For instance, you can set it to renew 30 days or 20 days or any period before its expiration date. On the scheduled day, the agent will automatically generate a new CSR using the same certificate parameters as the existing certificate and submit it to the CA. Upon completion of the required parameters, as soon as you click OK, the certificate will appear on the SCM dashboard with an issued status. And at this point, you have full administration capabilities. If you require any additional information, please check our documentation page in SCM as well as all the various articles in our knowledge base section. Thank you.